October 13th, 2017, Hammersmith Town Hall is the place to be. That's the night that football first takes place at the West London venue. In the house will be some of the legends of black football. Paul Cannibal, John Barnes, Howard Gale, Hope Powell, Paul Elliott, the list goes on. And how can I forget Sir Les Ferdinand? It's the place to be. I've taken a little time out today to talk to Paul Cannibal, one of the men behind the event. He's gonna talk all things Chelsea and all things football first. Paul, listen, um, tell me about October the 13th. What was the thinking behind it? And where are you now as we approach September in terms of the planet? Good man, thanks. I'm really the thinking about it. This is an idea that came out from Jeff Truman. Jeff Ruman is a catalogue of football, a football. diary, Liverpool fan, eh? dictionary, everything, trust me. <laughs> yeah. um, but he part, well, yeah, mentioned the idea to me, and I think it was the time when the Black Awards yeah. was on. And I said, I was on it, I said, yeah, I had some of that, I think it'd be interesting. Um, get on it, I told him, and I've been away to and fro, do my foundation work, went to America, I'm back. Asked him what's happening, he don't know. I've come back, went away, and asked him again what's happening. That's, and that's when I took the tolls, kind of myself, and said, Look, man, let me see and see what we can do by getting really some sponsors. Um, we're now on that trail, and we're now got the leaflets out, sorted out, that we're starting to promote it. Um, it was about getting the panel, and meeting the panel as it is, and they're going to ask me. Uh, we've got John Barnes, Howard Gale. Myself, Paul Elliott, um, Chris Ramsey, um, Les Ferdinand, Les Ferdinand and Hope Powell. Hope Powell. Yeah. Um, but um, which to me is such a strong panel. Um, talking. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm so excited. I am excited now, and I'm getting more excited because I, I can imagine for me, I myself as being in that audience. What I'd like them to hear about the achievements and what it was. Listen, right. I've been around a little while like yourself and I'm excited because yeah. that lineup for football firsts, as it's now yeah. known at Hammersmith Town Hall on October 13th, it really just brings together some of the iconic pioneering names in football. I know your story and you've told me over the years, some of the horrors, let's put it that way, that you suffered at Stamford Bridge. I mean, for the benefit of those watching, what was it like for you back then, being in the 80s, being the only black player, and I remember you telling me stories about warming up at Stamford Bridge and some of the abuse you was getting from your own players. And I know that's a long way off now, and we're at the kick it out offices, ironically. What was that like for you? Just, just recall some of that for me, please. You know, got to be honest, it got me straight, it was frightening. Um, it's funny, yesterday I went down to the bridge and saw the part where they call it the shed. And if anybody knows about the shed in, it's the notorious shed in. Yeah. And now it's been taken away, but to see that wall, it just brought back memories. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a very... Um, <laughs> you had your own fans abusing you though. Well, you? That's, that's the case. And it was difficult to concentrate, wasn't it? Because if you're getting that from your own fans, what are they expecting? But at the same time, for me as an individual, I had to be fighting them, and then I had to be thinking I had to play better than my teammates to be accepted by them. So that was going for in every game. And you're talking about how the situation where the stands are now, where the, um, the dugout, as we call it, was on the right hand side. And I was always afraid when John Neal, the prison manager, rest in peace, was telling me gun cannons don't get warmed up, he's like, oh, no, no, do I really have to? And it was that same East stand we're going past and uh, you could see the faces on them and you couldn't miss it. The faces on them was just, it was, it was frightening. And I tried to ignore it, I did ignore it most of the time and went behind the goal where we had at the time this piece of green that I could do my warm up. And see the arm of my assistant manager telling me to come back and just play like I don't see him, just not to go back past that same crowd or giving you fans that me some mistake. Okay, well let's bring it back to October the 13th, football first, and let's stay, stay with ladies first. 
Um, the panel is fantastic. Let's start with Hope Powell. I mean, here's a woman, I call her the first lady of football. Um, look at the England team in recent times, having looked a bit of success in terms of mm. quarterfinals, semi-finals of big tournaments. She's totally responsible for putting in those foundations. Isn't she? Let me say something. I was kind of, when I started watching ladies football, don't get me wrong, and I was at Chelsea and our young ladies are playing, it was like starting to get very big then. And then to see Hope Howe was the manager of the was the manager of the England women's team. Now we're kicking. So, um, most regarded, most respectful um, to see what she's done, don't get me wrong, it's like there at the English women's team. Um, I believe she's now at Brighton. Yeah, that's right. Doing yeah. her thing there. Yeah. So we're looking forward to hearing her views. And don't get me wrong, this is why I, I'd love to be in the audience. Yeah. Maybe. Don't worry, that's mine. That's mine. It'll be there. Trust, Trust me. So I'm going to be observe there. Observe this in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the authorities, as far as I'm concerned, the football authorities need to get behind this because Football First deserves and needs to be an annual event. Because oh, you mentioned Cyril Regis, oh, Brendan, Brendan Batson, you could yes. pay homage to the late Laurie Cunningham, Luther Bridges of this world. But everyone, is. listen, this video is only supposed to be short, but we could be here for about two days. Whoa. But on the night as we wrap up, Paul, you're looking for 800 people. Hammersmith Town Hall, October the 13th. Yes. What can they expect? Q and A's? Can they get involved? Can they get things signed? Yes, they will. Now, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. We're trying to do our best regarding pictures, regarding the sign or grass and so forth. Um, it's a shame that done wrong when you're in a, an established establishment like Hammersmith, uh, Hammersmith Town Hall. It's a time consuming. So we want to get everything as we can to make the audience happy as well as our players to be happy as well. So. Um, don't, don't, because so this is the very first. Have some patience first with football us. first. But don't get me wrong, this is, I'm, I'm excited. It's just going to be tremendous. I'm, trust me on that. Well, don't say trust me. <laughs> Believe me, I want it to be great. Um, but as um, Rodney said, we need people behind us. Um, we have the Kiki out, we have the FA, we have the, um, the, the PFA, we've got the voice. Football League. Need yeah. you behind us. Yeah. To be honest, it'd be great if you I think your invite there. list is gonna be quite long. Well you need people to come there, definitely see what's happening. Exactly. So it makes it easier for twenty eighteen, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely. And um, hopefully you do.